Hey guys, ciao everybody and happy Monday. It is Monday morning about 9 a.m. and I have already had my coffee and I think I'm going to make a juice. Do you wanna say good morning? Hi world, hi. Uh, I've been craving a green juice. It's been a, it's been a while, it's been a hot minute since I have had green juice. I did have celery juice the other day, but I'm craving a little something more green. So I decided I will make it with you guys. Show you what I put in usually in my green juices and maybe vlog. Let's try vlogging. You guys request it all the time. Like for me, it's so crazy. And I'm because like, do you guys really like are interested in what I do on the day to day? Because I feel like my life's pretty boring. So, arugula, this is almost done. And I usually buy arugula for salads, but because I probably won't eat it today for lunch, I will put it in my juice. I also have a crap ton of spinach. And I do like putting a lemon in my green juice and a cuke. Oh, I should probably get more ginger. I like to put some ginger also in my juice and probably an apple. Yeah, I think one apple will be enough. All right, let's do this. All right, but I don't know, um, hello. <laughs> do any of you guys also have cats that like just wanna be on everything that you're doing and every second? All right, so I've got all of my goodies laid out here. Uh, and I actually ended up deciding to also add celery in because I typically like to make just plain celery juice and have that. Um, but it is, I can tell it's gonna probably like not be good tomorrow. So I'm just gonna use it all today. And this is going to be a huge green juice. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm like really craving it. So pretty much like all veggies. I do have one apple. Um, I don't like my green juices to be too, too sweet, which is why I only really stick to like one fruit. Um, yeah, so, oh, and for those of you who are maybe new into the juicing world, with citruses like lemon, grapefruit, oranges, you have to peel or cut the peel off because if you put the peel in the juice, in the juicer, you are going to have a very bitter juice and it's just like, I don't, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this on and start juicing away. It's pretty loud, so I'm gonna, speed up the process. jar will do and um, I just kind of like stir it a little bit to mix everything and I attempt to pour the bowl into the mason jar but mm, eight times out of ten I get it everywhere so let's see how good I can do today Okay, wait, this is like the wrong way. I look like a monkey. <laughs> yes! All right, so let's, let, let, let's do the taste test. That is very green. Very, very, very green. Woohoo! But there's like a little hint of apple, but pretty much all I taste is like greens. I can taste like the spiciness of the arugula or rocket as you British people call it. But it's really good. I love my green juice. I'm gonna be sipping on this this morning. He was just chewing on this. You Do you like this? Oh my God, you are my cat son. All right. <laughs> but anyway, so I feel like today is kind of like my Sunday because yesterday I, I worked all day. Uh, and yesterday was Sunday, so I'm like kind of swapping. So like today I'm gonna be doing some cleaning around the house. 
um, laundry, um, yeah, maybe some chilling, I don't know, we'll see. Oh no, my battery's dying. Okay, I'm gonna go charge my battery. We'll be back. All right, change of plans. Um, my sister-in-law just called me and we're going to Zara real quick because she's looking for an outfit for my niece's communi first communion and she wanted my opinion. So I'm gonna go be a little personal shopper and help her. But I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little outfit of the day because I think you guys like that. Don't mind the trash that's waiting to be taken out. <laughs> so just a simple like nude color tee, I guess, with this little western type belt, these skinny jeans with like a little tuxedo striped on the side, and these like kind of uh, western type boots, I don't know. And then I am going to put this oversized jean jacket, you guys. <laughs> Well, if you um, if you watched my decluttering video, you guys, I kept the jean jacket at least for now because I feel like I've actually been using it a lot because the weather is like chilly and then warm. And so this is the overall look for today. So let's go. Hey guys. So it is significantly later. It's like 7 p.m. And I just hit an all-time low. I had a I hit a funk this afternoon and had plans to edit a video and be a little productive and I just like felt a little in the dumps for some reason. No reason at all. I just felt like super uninspired and unmotivated and just not feeling it. So I let myself feel that way. I think I watched about five episodes of Game of Thrones. I'm not on season, season two. And I could have continued that way and just feeling blah. But then I got a call a follow-up from the call I had this morning and I think I have a new client like a long-term freelance client um, for um, for web marketing which is really exciting um, so yeah uh, another job which is great because I kind of like have been a little stagnant in the job department lately like I haven't honestly I haven't had that much work so then I got that call and I was like oh my god that's awesome um, and so then I was like you know what get out of your slump go like you got a really good call take advantage of the rest of the day and so I'm forcing myself to go to the gym so I'm going to a class and it's all like cardio and using like the step style like the step it's like cardio and body pump I guess mixed together I would, I would that's like the best way to describe it I think yeah I've been sitting on my bum all afternoon so I'm gonna pick myself up because that's what we gotta do we gotta hold each other accountable and just pick each other up and yeah I'm going to go to the gym I'm back bitches and I feel like a whole new person and does anyone else like use exercise kind of as a form of therapy I, I seriously like need it and I always forget that I need it and it just makes me feel so much better um anyways that was a very cardio oriented class and yes I'm gonna feed you um I just ordered Deliveroo because homegirl here does not have any food and it's pouring rain out and i don't feel like going grocery shopping so yes i'm lazy and i'm ordering sush sushi and that's that's the deal that's the plan stan and so i'm gonna shower and eat my sushi read my book and go to bed hashtag grandma life <laughs> let me if you guys didn't know um I feed Barolo. You go, oh my god, he's so hungry. Show the world how crazy you are about your food. He's purring. So I actually feed him raw meat. It's grounded with like the bones and the cartilage and the organs and everything. Okay, can you sit? You wanna sit? He doesn't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, yes, there you go. So yeah, my cat, he just had, tonight is quail. We usually have quail, rabbit, or some type of like pigeon or something. Um, my mom introduced to me the raw diet to the cats. 
If you think about it, it's what they're supposed to be eating and then I- Whoa! Oh my god, I just zoomed in. Yeah, my mom introduced me the, to the raw meat for my for the cats. Yeah, raw meat for a cat's diet. If you think about it, like that's kind of what they're supposed to eat in the wild anyways. And it's so much better for them and their their body digests, like uses everything. And so they rarely poop. Their poops are super small. The poops don't smell and their coats are really soft and silky and their gum and teeth health are all around better. Um, so I totally recommend looking into the raw meat diet for your cats, but you do have to do it a certain way and make sure that the percentage of cartilage and organs and meat are a specific ratio. We order ours from like a raw meat person. They do it all, they ground it all for you, but there are a lot of people that do it at home too. What time is it? Okay, it's like 9.15. See, I hate going to workout classes so late at night because then I don't eat until late and then I shower late and then I go to bed late. But anyways, worth it. My hair looks red, doesn't it? Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna shower and wait for my deli delivery person. Oh, I'm always, okay, wait, <laughs> does anyone else do this? Um, when I'm alone, I hate answering the door to delivery men. And I've been doing this ever since I was little. Well, little, I mean like a teenager and um, being home alone and like ordering pizza. <laughs> like right before I open the door, when the doorbell rings, right before I open the door, I'm like, <laughs> well, I, when I was little, I was like, okay, dad, I got it. Because I'm paranoid about that stuff. So it's better all. So you can hear him. Um, anyways, does anyone else do that? Or am I totally psycho? Um, and if any of you are watching and you're a delivery driver, writer, and you, you answer my door, now you know my trick. That's probably not safe to be sharing to the world. I don't know. I should be there. I should be there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You guys just see that? Oh my god. Oh, I gave him a tip. I gave him, and he like was not expecting that. I don't know, he was kind of like weird. He's kind of like, he definitely wasn't Italian. Um, and he was kind of like weird, like shaking as he was giving me the back. He was like, <laughs> anyways, I didn't have time to shower. the The buzzer went off right when I, <laughs> the buzzer went off right when um, I stopped talking to you guys. So I'm just gonna leave this here and shower real quick because I, I don't. I'm all. Like, like my sweat is drying and it's gross. Sushi brown bag, how cute is that? Do you want some sush? I know you do, I know you definitely. Well, I got veggie sushi, but that doesn't matter. Barolo will eat anything, anything. I caught him eating celery the other day. Um, all right, <laughs> okay, I'm like totally procrastinating. I <sighs> feel so much better. And don't judge me if I'm eating on my couch because it's, that's kind of what happens 90% of the time. And I actually wanted, I had a couple of things I wanted to talk to you guys about while I'm eating. So no, it's not a mukbang. Even though this actually is like the exact same order from me and Sophia's mukbang. Um, with the expat Q&A. Anyways, I'm gonna place you guys there. First of all, I wanted to thank um, the, oh, those of you who got my shirt, thank you guys so much for supporting me, but more so, oh my god, but hello, but, but more so the, the animal, um, welfare, but hello, but more so the animal sanctuary that I donated the proceeds to, and so thank you guys, love you. On Instagram today, I um <clears throat> I reposted this post that said, trust me, nobody is as successful as Instagram makes them look and nobody is as pretty as filters make them seem. The only healthy and worthwhile comparison is you yesterday versus you today. And I said I needed this today. And someone responded saying, um, I need to remind myself this every single time I see one of your videos or posts, like being nice. And, but like, I don't, this kind of was like, oh my God, I don't want you guys to think that. I 
don't like feeling that that way about myself when I look at other people's Instagram pages and like I mean people that make me feel like I'm not doing good enough in life or that I'm not pretty enough or I'm not fit enough I don't want you guys to get that vibe when you see my videos or my posts at all um, and so that just kind of got me thinking that I want to do more of like this type of vlog with you guys because yes, I love making the vlogs that are all like edited with fun music. Those are like a different type of vlog. But then I also kind of want to do a vlogs like this where I'm just like sitting on my couch talking to you about, you know, faking someone being home when I answer the door to the deliverer guy. More like conversation like this, but is it too much talking? Let me know. I'm listening to you guys. I want to know what you want from me. Um, and hopefully you get out, get away. Hopefully you go away either seeing one of my Instagram posts or one of my videos on YouTube with, you get away, you, you go away with something out of it. Not like feeling negative about yourself because if, if that's how you feel after seeing one of my videos or one of my Instagram posts that I'm doing something wrong. My goal is to like to inspire, inspire you people and to lift everyone and not make people feel less at all. So anyways, it kind of made me feel meh. But what do you, what do you guys think? What do you guys want to see more of? Anyways, I'm rambling. Good night.